Well, hello, hello, party people. How are we doing today? Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we are here with another unboxing. Now, because I've been gone, you're going to get a lot of unboxings. I'm not sorry. Either way, I'm not sure what this is. I have an idea. A company asked me to do a review for them. And you're probably wondering why this video says take two when you've probably never seen a video for take one for this. If I still have the video, I will share pictures of why there wasn't a part one because I was so frustrated when I got it that I couldn't even record it. I didn't even want to record it. Um, so I'm going to get into it so I can see what this is. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's not stab whatever's in here. It's packaged oddly. Um, it looks like it's just put in an envelope and rolled and then sent out. It does have bubble wrap. We're just going to tear all the pieces apart here. And I know they say that sometimes you create your own bubbles and rivers, but when it's packaged like this and you have to get it out and you're scared to cut it because you don't want to damage the canvas, it's kind of hard to not. You know what I mean? So I'm going to very carefully cut into this. I still have no clue what this is. So let's see here. It doesn't even look like anything. All right, there we go. All right. So that's how the package was sent. It was sent in a bubble mailer, trash bag material, and this is actually a replacement for the first one I got. So let me explain. All right. So this beat up, crinkled, not put on a foam roller thing is my canvas. It could be okay. We're going to try it out. But let me explain to you what happened. First, that is part one right there. Safety first. All right. So a company called DIY Paint contacted me and asked me if I wanted to test out one of their kits, give them a try, but they wanted me to do a paint by numbers. Now I don't do painting. I told them they could contact another YouTuber friend of mine who does do paint by numbers. So I'm not sure if they contacted him or not, but I gave them his name and his YouTube channel, which is the same thing, and told them if they want somebody to do a paint by numbers to contact him, and I'm pretty sure he would be happy to help them, but I don't do paint by numbers. Uh, they did alert me that they do have diamond paintings. So I said, all right, cool. Well, I'll go check those out. I'll pick one and you can send it out and I'll do a review of it. They said fine. Took them forever and a day to get this stuff situated. And when I finally did get it, I have no information on this kit at all. Editing Leisha will put in the price on the website, but I don't know when the item was shipped or anything because when you get items to review, a lot of the times they won't ship it out the same day. And I was lucky enough to even get a shipping number maybe a week after I talked to them. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, either way. So this is the first kit, and that's how it came in this box, rolled up just like that. Now you're probably wondering what was wrong with this kit. One, there's the drills and everything that comes with it. It's a 40 by 50. The problem was, and I explained this to them, when I got the first kit, and I will insert pictures at the end of the video. When I got the first kit, the, as you can see, it's, it's in two pieces, right? So when I got this, and I went to go open it up. The glue in the middle, as you can see, maybe not. Hold on. Oh, I just knocked you. Sorry. My bad. All right. So I'm going to try to. Now, this has been sitting back in the box flattened. But if you can see, if I can get you guys to focus, right there. That whole way up. When I opened this kit for the first time, that glue was laying on top of the cover paper. I tried my darndest to carefully take it off the cover paper and lay it back flat. 
but the moment I did it, it shrunk back down to the canvas, and the canvas was in, I, I couldn't work on it. There was, there was no way to work with a big giant glob of glue about yay big, dead center of the entire canvas. So I put it away, I contacted them to let them know, hey, the glue was sitting on top of the, cam the cover paper, I sent them a photo of it, because I wanted to show them the evidence Here's a photo of the glue literally sitting on top of the cover paper. And I know there has been another YouTuber or two that have showed you how to fix that. But I didn't want to fix it. I'm not going to lie. I'm lazy. Whatever. Don't judge me. Either way. So I sent them a picture of it, told them to go ahead and send me out a new canvas. I can't work on that because the glue is laying on top of the freaking cover paper. And unless the cover paper has symbols on it, can't really put diamonds there. So they said, fine but to be careful with the next kit so I don't mess it up. Now I explained to them yet again in another email that it was not my fault, that it was their fault. And if that's how they treat their customers, I will let you guys know that if you do get a kit from this company, please make sure to very carefully word your words properly because apparently me telling them that the glue and showing them pictures was on top of the cover paper meant that I messed it up. So yeah, first things first, customer service, <clears throat> either way. So let's get on to it. So it is a 50 by 40. It is a square. And again, I didn't even open the drills. Like, as you can see, this has not been touched. Do you see all that in there? Do you see the catastrophe that's happened in there? There's a bag of busted drills in there. This is what the image looks like. So. Before we even get into the drills, we're going to get into this canvas and see what the canvas looks like. Hopefully it looks better than the first canvas, but who knows? Let's try it out. Now, this has they, they only resent the, the, the canvas, which is fine because I didn't obviously need the drills because I have a bunch of them sitting right here. So I didn't need double drills, so they sent the canvas, and this is how they sent it. So already... As you guys know, when you fold these canvases up, look at the back of it, it's covered and it's going to have a bunch of lines and stuff through it, which you can flatten that out between two books. You can iron it. I, yeah, I'm not that type of housewife either way. So this is the canvas. We're going to open it up to see how this one looks. Very carefully, not to pull up the glue. Oh, crapola. All right, so we're going to pull this one up first since it seems to be on top. All right, so this one looks a lot better. One, I can make out the fairy. And for those of you who don't know, if I don't get landscapes, I usually get fairies. I like fairies. I'm a girl, what can I say? All right, so we're gonna try to dust up. Oh, hold on, I got a pair of tweezers in here. Surgery, and I'm gonna sit on the bed. I don't care. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, so we're gonna try to lift that up, see if it'll come up with it. No, it will not, it's being stubborn. All right, so we're gonna pull this up. All right. So this is what the image looks like. Can you see it? It's not really. There's a big old glare on it. Miss Coffee, how can we see it? All right, so this is what the image is gonna look like, sort of. You can see the fairy in her nightmare fuel face. That is nightmare fuel. I don't care what anybody says. And she's sitting on top of a mushroom. It is super tacky. We're gonna take a look at the drill field while we got it up here. So it looks like we have some cattywampus symbols. As to look at it, the canvas is actually in good condition, minus all the river, or the rivers, not rivers, all the bumps and lumps in it. So I'm guessing that first canvas was a fluke, which these things happen. I understand that. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to hate on them for that. But them telling me that it was my fault, that, that I'm hating on them for. Hate, 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 hate. We're going to lay that back down. And then we're going to lay this one back down. 
And how is it? All you do is lift it up, directly up, and it still doesn't want to go down correctly. All right, I'm going to pause you and put it down correctly. All right, you don't know how long that took me either way. So their, their toolkit was just a green boat with a spout, plate of wax, the black cheapo tweezers, a drill pan with a three plate. Y'all don't care about that. All right, now here comes the nightmare. <sighs> All right, so this is the first canvas. If you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like 30 seconds or until you see me stop struggling and go. This is what the image is supposed to look like. I thought that was cute. And it was the only design on their site that I liked. It has 36 colors. And as you can see again, there's a bag of drills open. But no need to fret. Thanks to Robin, thanks, <laughs> Robin. Thanks to Robin Babcock, I have plenty of baggies to use for that. I do like already off the bat one. That is straight up ghetto right there. They just took the Sharpie and wrote it on there. But you know what? I know what color it is, so it doesn't matter. One, I like that they did that. That is awesome. DMC number, and I'm going to guess that's how many drills are in that bag. So this tells me there's two, four, six. 600 drills in these three bags. That's awesome. Are all their bags like that? No, just those. So, yeah. Either way, um, where did I put my pen? You guys see my pen? You don't see my pen. Hold on a second, let me find my pen. Hey look, my pen. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and go through this inventory like a boss so that you don't get tortured with having to sit there and watch me count these out one by one. And when I get them back, I'll let you know if they're all there and give you my final thoughts. You ready? Go! So it looks like we have all of our drills and all right. So there's a couple of things. One, I found the drills that were missing um, or that were open. It's this color here and it's this bag that's open. So as you can see, this bag has significantly less than the rest of these bags. So that's the bag that's open. So if you give me a second, I'm going to go put that in a baggie real quick. All right. So you don't know how long it took me to do that, but it was a little bit. Either way. So here's a couple of things about the drills. One, the bags that they're in are kind of flimsy and cheap, which is probably why that one busted open. Um, that doesn't matter, mostly because you're taking it out of those baggies anyways. That's just me fussing. Uh... One thing I do like is the fact that they tell you the quantity that you need. And then on the bags, on some of the bags, they tell you the number that are in the bags. Now, I believe that's more than 200, but it says 200. And then on here, it'll tell you you need 3,013. So there's more over here. That's 939. Either way, take my word for it. They're all there. Two, four, six. Yeah, like, I, I believe this has to be at least 400 or so because uh, there was only maybe one more small bag of 310. I can't find it right now. There was, like, one more small bag of 310, wherever it ran off to now. Um, but that's more than 200 because... This says 200 on it. And then... Hold on. There we go. 
So this one says 200. And so does that one. And this is 3041. This is 310. So you can see the 200 on both tops of those bags. So really, I think there's more than 200 in that bag, obviously, because some of the bags say that, some of the other bags don't. Like this bag, it doesn't say anything about 200 or anything. So some of the bags have it, some of the bags don't. Um, that makes it kind of confusing because, again, it, I don't know how many are in there. So how do I know if I'm going to have enough to finish the kit? You don't know. But then again, for those places that do weighted, uh, when they weigh their drills and they put them in baggies, and some people tell you how much are in the baggies, some people don't, you don't know that way either. So it's just confusing to me. These are all my opinions. If you don't like it, well, you know, change the channel or something. Either way. Um, but the other thing is, it says small bags. That's not a small bag. So, I know I'm supposed to have 3,013 drills. And I'm supposed to have 16 small bags. But I have... Three big bags, and again, I have another bag of three things around here somewhere. I swear I do. Um, but I have three, three. It's gonna drive me nuts now. There it is. Boom. That's all the three tens I have, and that's supposed to be three thousand. It says I'm supposed to have sixteen small bags. I have three bigger bags and uh oh, a small bag. So if I had to guess. I would guess each of these bags is maybe a thousand and then add another 200 to that. So I don't like the fact that they put small bags because if you're not going to put them in small bags, that means I have to do math. I'm not about that life. Y'all, y'all know I'm lazy. I'm not trying to do math. You know, how, oh my goodness. No. So having that on there is a little bit confusing. Um, let's look at these symbols. Now, the drill fill does look clear, as you saw. And so far, the symbols look like they're going to be okay. I like the little flower on 938. Those two might not really. They're not the same. Either way, the symbols look like they're going to be pretty good. I do have all the drills, even though we did have one bag of busted drills. But that can happen with any kit. That's not a big deal. I put it in a baggie. I marked it problem solved um so yeah so my final thoughts the canvas looks good the second time the first canvas looked like absolute garbage um this painting obviously uh, i'm not even gonna lie this painting is going to load down in the queue because i'm not really too interested in the painting that much anyways but um i will get to it it's just it's not on my priority list so, if you guys would like to go check out IDIY Paint, or however you say it, I'll have all the information on the in, in the description box. Any painting I do, if you have any questions, look into the description box, because all the information for that painting is going to be in the description box. So, where to get it, the name of the company, you know, it'll have a link to the exact painting that I have, if it's still there. If it's not still there, it'll just have a link to the website, but... Again, I don't remember how much this kit cost or anything, but the drills are there. Again, I think the first canvas was just a fluke, and that can happen with any company. So the second canvas looked good. I don't like the way that it came in the bubble mail or just kind of rolled up with some rubber band. Like, they don't really care about the canvas. But again, I can flatten that out, and it'll probably just go on a pant hanger in the closet for a few months until I remember, oh, look, I got one of this. I, I want to do it. Either way. Um... But all the drills are there. It's a little confusing with the small bag thing. And then if it's a bigger bag, you have to count the quantity. That that makes it a little easier is counting, being able to count the quantity of it. But it's still kind of confusing because then if you don't have that many small bags and you have bigger bags, then you have to guess how many are in that bigger bag because the bigger bag only says 200. And it's not just the three tens that are in the bigger bags. Uh, the 939s are as well. But these bags, and see, that's what I, oh, sorry, I, I bumped you again. That's what I'm not getting. The the 939 say 1,000, but the 310 say 200. They're obviously the same size. So that's the only reason why I, I got the estimation or the guesstimation that the 310s are at 1,000. 
but that's that's kind of confusing and that's less it's more of a headache than anything else trying to decipher what it is um so i don't know i'd give them a four out of five i'd say go check them out for yourself tell me what you think have you worked with this company before meaning have you worked on one of their kits have you even heard of this company before and would that be confusing to you that's my question for the day would it be confusing to you if they put the fact that it's a small bag and then you get big bags and then one bag says a thousand one bag says 200 would that be confusing to you or you just do not care you just as long as your drills are there you're cool uh leave it down in the comments either way that's it for me folks thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up or at this point give it a thumbs down because i don't really give a crap either way please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified anytime i randomly decide to put up a video and believe me folks it's random. With that said, I'm going to do like I always do and bid you adieu and remind you to be kind, be courteous, and be cool. Bye, guys.